Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The elders of the Southeast have been going back and forth in respect to the issue of Mazin Namdekanu release. And also, the judicial process is still ongoing. And most people are wondering what the future, what kind of future lies ahead in terms of when he will be released. The same goes for uh, Yoruba Agitator talking about Sunday at Deyemo, aka Sunday Ibo. He's facing so much at Bene, and it seems as if there is no light at the end of the tunnel for him. Him, at least uh, for this year, nobody we've not heard anything you know said about him, and the Yorubas are not putting enough pressure to ensure he's been released. Now, a prophet has spoken about when these guys will be re released and why they are going to be released as at that time. You understand, and that's what we're going to be looking at. And also, in another news, uh, the Siriki Fulani remember the guy, the man, the Fulani man who was bundled out of Igongo in, in the Baraba local government area of Ondo State. Yes, or, or is it Ondo or your, or your state? The man was bundled out, sent packing, evicted from Iganga. And right now he has spoken about the reason why he doesn't want to see uh, at least uh, Sunday Adeyemo on the streets again why he doesn't want him to be released from prison we're going to be looking at all of that in a jiffy but before we do that if you've not subscribed please do well just hit that resubscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. the popular Nigerian cleric and also prophet pastor Adewale Giwa has disclosed that the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Aipo Mazinam Kanu will be set free by President Muhammadu Buhari administration after the 2023 general elections. The cleric also revealed that the known phase of the agitation for Yoruba Nation Sunday at Deyemo, popularly known as Sunday Bowo, will equally be released from Benin Republic after the polls. Pastor Giwa, who stated this during the weekend, said President Buhari's administration saw the two agitators as a threat to the 2023 elections. He further added that in order not to take chances with agitation, which has been gathering momentum in the southeast and southwest region of the country, the federal government resolved to arresting them by all possible means and keep them from the public space until the pool is over. The plan to release both Kano and Sunday Ibo after the 2023 election they see them as straight ahead of the elections. Recall that Kanu had been in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS after he was intercepted and extraordinarily renditioned in Kenya or from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. Ibo on his part was arrested on July 19 by operatives of Kutur of Benin Republic weeks after his house in Ibadan was raided by DSS operative. Meanwhile, in another related development, the Siriki Fulani of Ibarabalan, Alhaji Saliyu Abdukadar, has opposed the release of Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Ibowo. Abdukadar, who was evicted from his Iganga residence, said he opposed Ibowo's release due to his daring nature. The Siriki Fulani had relocated to Ilorin Kwara State after Ibowo issued an eviction notice to Fulanis in Iganga. Abdul Kadar lamented that Ibowo carried out his eviction notice without relevant authorities challenging him. He noted that there are criminals among Yorubas just like Fulanis, hence, the government should fish out such elements. For those seven days, the state government sent 14 police officers to us and they were guiding us, but the police officers were overpowered by Sunday Ibo's men. This is why I don't support the call for the release of Ibo. I am sure he must be regretting his actions now. Any Nigerian can live in any part of the country, and I have always said that there are criminals everywhere. There are criminals among Yorubas just like we have among the Fulani people. This is where we expect the government to come in and fish out those who are criminally minded. Ibowo has been in detention in Benin Republic after he was arrested at uh, the airport of Cotonou. The freedom fighter was arrested while on his way to Germany in July 2021. 
He had fled Nigeria to continue after the Department of State Services, the ESS, declared him wanted. The Nigerian Security Police had declared him wanted after the weapons were discovered in his Ibadan residence during a raid. Wow. Now, quite interesting looking at these two news and also seeing different reasons why these two strong agitators cannot be released in a hurry. Now, I, I, I know so well that most of um, uh, Namdi Kanu supporters and Ibo supporters will never give in to this kind of prophecy. I don't know if it is a prediction or if it is a prophecy. But um, it makes a great deal of sense. Yeah, it makes a great deal of sense. And I don't know how um, these guys will be able to secure his release uh, via political solution. Because um, right now, with the way things are going and with the way um, the, the, the judiciary is going about it, it, it looks as if um, Namdi Kano will be released, at least for Namdi Kano, because the other guy is at uh, Benin Republic. We don't know anything about Benin and we don't know what's going on there and i i think there's no much pressure there's no um increased pressure on the Benin republic to release him and i believe that there are a lot of factors that is militating against him there at Benin prison but for mazinam de Kano, i don't think that that prophecy may come out rightly as it has been spoken because right now there's so much pressure if not for anything at least for the sit at home civil disobedience that uh, most south easterners have been suffering and they really desire to see all of that come to a standstill and you know the leaders and elder statesmen in the, the southeast have already sent warnings to you know this current government that if you really want peace to be restored back to the southeast you just need to release this guy because talking about Mazin Amikano because he has myriads of supporters, not just in Nigeria, but globally, you understand? And apart from that, why we believe, I strongly believe that it may not be up till the end of the tenure of Muhammadu Buhari is the case of, uh, you know, the British uh, citizenship. He's not just a Nigerian, or let me, some people say he's not a Nigerian, that he has denied it. But he is a British citizen, you understand? And being a British citizen, um, even though uh, we were told by media that um, uh, uh, sorry, um, UK will not be sending any representative, but somehow we saw someone in the person of you know, Agodo, according to the newspaper precisely, the, he, she came in as an observer from you know the British consulate. So you now realize, or High Commission, you now realize that you know, no matter what, these guys are still having interest in the case. And if they are having this deep interest in the case, it therefore means that very soon something either via the judiciary may happen or via the presidency because um, the elders in South East have uh, mounted pressure on the president, though he said he would not do anything about it. But they are still intending to mount more pressure on the president to use his prerogative of mercy to send Mazinam the Kanu free, at least grant him amnesty, like it is done in other states of the Federation where agitations like these come up. You understand? So, with all of this put together, you now realize that it may or it may not. But the man had also stated his reasons why he's saying that way. And that according to him, he said that these two agitators were big threat to the current administration and uh, uh, there is no one that can deny that they were not threats because we can still remember the level of pressure this government went through as they are saying this Mazin was unveiling a lot of things and the same thing with Sunday Adeyemo, that's aka Sunday Ibo and also if you listen to the other part of the news you also hear what Seriki Fulani had to say about the release so you now you can now deduce what is going to happen to Sunday, you know, as Chief Sunday. A lot is going to happen there because already the Fulanese, if the Fulani lead person said he doesn't want to see him being released or he's against seeing him being re released and stating his reasons, I, I feel that this ha may have filtered into the ears of those guys also and uh, it may delay his him being released from the prison and i'm so shocked that uh, leaders in the southeast are not doing so much to push in for this guy to be released because eh, if they show no interest automatically that guy might be lying west there for as long as even beyond 2023 you understand but however 
we are hopeful that something will happen from them. But what's your position considering the prophecy of uh, that great prophet, Prophet Giwa? Do you think that Sunday Day and Nazi Namdi Kano will be released before the end of this day? Let's interact.